concept, <clears throat> we know that one way to study a mechanism is to see how replacing a hydrogen atom with its isotope, deuterium, affects the rate of the reaction, okay? So <clears throat> there's a big, big word here, a lot of big words, I guess, for saying that, uh, let's talk about this a little more slowly. So hydrogen typically only has one proton, no neutrons. If hydrogen has one neutron that has two nuclear particles, then we call that deuterium, right? You've, we, we discussed that in, um, when we're talking about spectroscopy. <clears throat> deuterium now has the same chemical reactivity as hydrogen, but it doesn't have the same kinetics as hydrogen. That it, is, it reacts more slowly. So, all right, so uh, deuterium has the same chemical reactivity, but it doesn't have the same kinetics. So look at this. If we have this reaction, you've seen this reaction before. This is an E2 reaction. So if we've got a leaving group here and two hydrogens, right? The base comes, boom. These electrons, boom, and the, and the leaving group leaves. <clears throat> and you get propene, right? So where the base has got that, that hydrogen on here, that is here. Okay, and then there's your leaving group. Well, if we replace those beta hydrogens with deuteriums, Right, so I've got two, these are hydrogens still, but they have neutrons in them. Then it turns out it reacts at a slower rate. All right, so if one of the hydrogens gets pulled off, there's the base with the hydrogen on it and the leaving group and so on, okay? If that gets pulled off, <clears throat> then this is what we're left with, okay? So carbon deuterium bonds are actually stronger than carbon hydrogen bonds. So if we replace the beta hydrogens with deuteriums, it results in a a slower rate by more than a factor of five. Okay, it turns out it's actually seven times slower, but you can say, you know, it's a lot slower, okay? Then we conclude if, if, if we do this reaction and we put deuteriums here and, uh, and it reacts a lot slower, then we conclude that these hydrogens are the ones that are being pulled off, okay? And we can also say that occurs, that this occurs during the that the, the, um, the stripping off of that hydrogen dur occurs during the rate determining step, okay? So this reaction above is, is, is actually seven times slower. And this is one of the ways that we know that E2 elimination is a concerted elimination. <clears throat>